Ooh, it's filming. Okay. Hey everyone, guess what? I have a $5 off Goodwill coupon. So we are going to do a Goodwill 30 minute thrift challenge. Hopefully I can find something to at least get $5 off of. As you can see, I have a lot of bin stuff in my car, so I don't necessarily need inventory, but $5 off at Goodwill. So let's go. All right, it's 10.50, so we have to be out of here by 11.20 for the 30 minute thrift challenge. So this is a 30 minute thrift challenge, which I'm sure you gathered from the title and thumbnail, but I did not really explain in the intro of this video. So I didn't want to bring in much inventory. I just kind of wanted to use my coupon and I justified it by saying that I was gonna make it a thrift challenge. So I decided to start off in the sweaters since that's what's in season. But the thing with shopping on the in season racks is that they're often a little more cleared out since everybody wants to shop for the in season stuff. I did pass on that Madewell sweater for $8. I'm really not picking up Madewell for more than three or four dollars these days so i did decide to move on to the odysseys in sections because with only 30 minutes i figured i might find more items in the odysseys in sections and i have actually found some good tank tops at this location the last few times i've gone i did pass on the postmark anthro piece because it's just an older piece and not something i usually pick up unless i can get for a low cost of goods i'm not finding anything exciting i did see this zara tank which i assumed goodwill had priced high and they did at eight dollars when that probably retailed for like 18. so here is an expensive brand lk bennett as you can see those were at 305 dollars shoes they don't look like they've ever been worn they were kind of dated but Goodwill had them at 15 which does not surprise me because this Goodwill does actually price a lot of stuff up, unfortunately, but I do still find a few good gems. Here's another pair of older pumps, Cole Haan for $15. I used to get really good shoes at this Goodwill like years and years ago. It used to be my favorite place to get shoes. But around COVID, they started pricing their shoes crazy high. So I just get most of my shoes at the bins now. At this point, I realized I was just kind of skimming through items, which I feel like is not the best strategy for a 30 minute thrift challenge. So I moved on to the new racks, which are these. And I believe they got one very large donation from one woman who had very dated, ugly, in my opinion, clothing. That sweater could have been Good for buy sell trade but not for eight dollars then on the new rack i pulled out this babaton piece and i was so excited because it's like okay one good thing on the new rack and then i kind of looked it over and i realized that i think it's actually shrunk so i did have to put that back and that's why i think it was on the new rack like somebody stuck it on there as a go back since it was shrunk but if it was not shrunk and especially being in winter i totally would have picked that piece up for six dollars since the new racks were a bust i decided to move on to pants because again the last time i was here i had good luck in the pants pants section i found these theory pants they had them priced at eight dollars and they're white and they're a size zero so i did pass on them because i feel like that whole combination is just not a very good one especially for eight dollars maybe in the bins then i found another pair of theory pants for eight dollars these ones were a size two if they were half off i totally would have picked them up but i just i don't want to pay eight dollars for theory pants because really they sell for like 25 for me at this point i'm getting really discouraged because i've gone through a couple sections and it's a 30 minute thrift challenge and i'm not finding anything and I'm like why am I filming a video this sucks I did come across these Eileen Fisher pants but they were seven dollars and a small petite if they were a bigger size especially a plus size I probably would have grabbed them but again I sell Eileen Fisher pants for about 25 dollars max like those pull-on pants so I left them for the six dollars especially a petite size I came across these on clouds they are twenty dollars and missing insoles so I didn't even look them up Again, I am discouraged because I'm like, I can't believe I'm filming a thrift challenge and I'm not finding anything. Here's a pair of new tags J. Crew pants, but they had them priced at $13 and I think they were just J. Crew factory. So at this point, I decided to move on to the dresses and hope I have some luck in the dresses again because it's kind of an off season category and I usually have luck in the dress section at this thrift store. This I thought could be something, but I didn't recognize the brand and it didn't feel like anything worth looking up. Finally, I found one piece I felt like I could actually pick up to resell. It is this Torrid butterfly print dress. They had a price at seven, but it was half off. I don't think I would have paid seven for it because I'm guessing this is about a $25 sale. Had a little bit of pilling, but I'll get that off with my sweater shaver. I'm surprised they only had this priced at $7 because they usually price Torrid anywhere from $10 to $15. So after that Torrid piece, it's a bunch of flipping through garbage again. There was this Z Supply shirt that was new at tags for $79 
but it was probably priced too high and I think I do want to try Z Supply but I don't want to pay more than Ben's pricing for it just because I've seen comps are all over. I did come across this cute Zara dress but I knew they would have it priced high and they did at $13 and that is why there's so much Zara at my Ben's. My next pickup was again just something I grabbed because it was half off of $7. It is Bohem? Bo uh, yeah, correct me in the comments. I think it's a boutique bohemian brand and I have not sold it but I know some pieces some like maxi dresses midi dresses like that can go like 25 to 30 dollars so I did grab that piece for half off and at this point I'm trying to get I think I had to spend 25 dollars to be able to use my five dollar off coupon so I was just hoping to find 25 dollars worth of stuff that mod cloth dress I passed on because it was probably again seven dollars and mod cloth is about that 25 dollar seller so I just don't want to spend seven dollars on a mod cloth dress especially one that's not novelty print and then i finally came across something that made me super excited i found this tucker nuck dress and tucker nuck is a total bolo brand plus they only had this priced at seven dollars now unfortunately i saw this stain right here but i scratched at it and i was like yeah i think that will come out and so i picked it up and took it home and guess what i washed it and it did not come out uh so i think i'll wash it again and this time with like some stain remover I don't know if it'll come out now that you know I washed and dried it but let's hope I can get it out I did look up the dress and it's retail for like a pretty simple cotton dress is $138 and I don't think I saw any going under $40 so I would love to get that stain out of that tucker neck dress but if you're unfamiliar with tucker neck it's kind of like a southern anthropology where they have tucker neck and some other house brands so I did find this Tadashi Shoji dress and it was half off but I felt like the style was a little dated and I, I just wasn't excited by it so I left it behind. They pulled out another new rack so I decided to go through that and right away I could tell it was the same person's donations from the previous new rack I went through. There was this velour Eeyore jacket which I would have picked up at the bins. It probably had some resale value especially with these matching pants but for six dollars I don't know if the set was worth paying twelve dollars for and I'm not a big Disney person i'll sell it if i come across it but i didn't really want to pay 12 dollars to sell it so i stopped filming that rack because i could tell it was just all disappointing stuff but i did go through it and i was correct so i moved on to the shirts at this point i had like 10 minutes left in the challenge and i just knew it was going to be a done day i was hoping to just come across a couple more items to get me to that 25 dollar point where i could use my coupon i was honestly kind of ready to walk out and scrap the video but I was there and I came across this maize top. It was $4 because they don't know what that brand is. It felt like linen, so I did check the interior fabric tag and of course it was cut out, but I did pick it up anyway and I have since listed it. It is listed for $33 and I'm hoping to get about $25. I think the retail is like $128 for that t-shirt. I did end up finding the fabric content online and it is either a linen blend or 100%. No, I think it's 100% linen. So hopefully that will sell in the spring because I don't really expect it to sell in the winter being a linen shirt, but you never know. So I list things year round. Then I came across this Pilcrow top, which it was just a tee, so I wasn't gonna get, but I wanted to show you how Goodwill ruins so many t-shirts with the way they do that pinhole. I'll pick stuff like that up on accident without realizing it often and have to disclose a tiny pinhole from the way Goodwill tagged it. I did come across this Free People One shirt. Unfortunately, they had it priced at $8, but I threw it in my cart because I was like, okay, maybe I'll need it to get to that $25 point to use my coupon. And then I found another Free People shirt. This style felt a little dated to me and they had it priced at $6, which is a little high these days for for a free people top but it was a size extra large and I just don't come across that many extra large free people pieces so again I threw it in the cart to consider and kept shopping. I did look at this Disney piece a little further because the tag reminded me of Torrid or Hot Topic and sometimes those plus size Disney pieces can do well from those brands. The tag really did look like a Torrid tag but since it didn't say it anywhere on there and I was on a time crunch I just put it back and didn't investigate further. I did come across two pieces for buy sell trade. First was this piece from the brand A Lab. I had never heard of it before. I just grabbed it based on style and also it was half off so it was two 
$2 and I really don't like to pay more than $4 a piece for things I take to buy, sell, trade because I just get 50% of what they price it at in-store credit. I did look up the brand when I got home and it was a Zoomies brand, I think. Here's the other piece I grabbed. It is a vintage embroidered mesh shirt. I wasn't sure if they'd buy it in winter because it's a more spring summer piece, but they did actually buy it. So they purchased both of those pieces from me. So a two successful pickups for buy, sell, trade. And here is the haul. I did end up putting all of the free people back because I didn't need it to get to the $25 and I didn't feel like those two free people shirts were worth paying the price Goodwill had them at. That Goodwill trip was super rough. That Goodwill has not been that bad in such a long time. Even going through the off-season categories, I was finding nothing. I mean, I didn't find nothing. I walked out with, what, like six items? Two for buy, sell, trade, a couple to list on Poshmark, and I paid $20, but I got to use my $5 coupon. So yes, $20 for all that stuff. So I don't know, maybe like a $50 profit for a 30-minute uh, check-in yeah not the best but thank you guys for sticking with me through this video i hope it wasn't too boring we will do a another 30 minute thrift challenge soon i did get in line at 11 20 so it was a successful 30 minute challenge usually the challenge is i want to stay longer and i'm only giving myself 30 minutes but today i wanted to leave like after 10 minutes i was like okay there's nothing here so the challenge was staying and you know what i found a few pieces so that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in another video soon. Goodbye.